My name is Ian Davenport. I'm a painter and I live and work in London. My practice has evolved a lot and changed a lot. I think I was always interested in materials and even from being a child I was playing around with materials and paint, mixing glue into it, mixing gravel into paint, you know, just doing all sorts of kind of wacky things with it. For me, my way of making paintings is my way of exploring the world. It's not kind of, there isn't a message, there's no political message there, but it's my way of sort of relating to the world and trying to sort of figure it out. And a lot of the time it's about studio accidents, you know, seeing something in the studio. At the moment the paintings are made, the, the drips of uh, colour are kind of flow down the surface and then pool and puddle on the floor. That was just something that I saw, you know, happen in the studio and I really liked it and I thought, okay, well, I need to find a way of including that into the painting. I think the main sort of focus for the work over the last few years has been colour and then how I've sort of really developed that and sequenced that. And I think it's sort of to do with colour but also to do with the way that the lines have, have reacted with that. So if the compositions of the paintings haven't in a way changed very much. They've been, it's, it's a very sort of strict kind of vertical dripped line composition. To begin with, the paint I used was a kind of a gloss paint and it just kept on jamming and it was very sticky. So I started to think that using acrylic would work better and it did. The cadmium free range is really successful and the saturation and the vibrancy really hold up well. They are comparable to the cadmium range. I think that there is more concern about cadmium use in paints and materials and uh, going forward there's going to be legislation about that, I'm sure. I like being in the studio. It's a really, I mean, I'm so pleased that I'm able to do my job. I just have a great time doing it. It's just a really good place to be. You know, most artists have sort of lulls and periods in their career which where they're, you know, they're not so well known. I think if you, if you, you know, a career of 60 years or whatever, even people like Picasso had periods where they were ignored or, you know, their work wasn't in fashion. So I think you have to be very stubborn, you have to know yourself and just, you know, just keep working, really. But also enjoy it, I think that's another thing, is that there's a lot of talk about art where, um, you know, it can become very theoretical or practical, but I mean, you know, it's a fun thing to do as well, just enjoy making work. I think if you, if you can enjoy your practice going to the studio every day and try and focus on that, think about that, then the other things aren't so important.